ladies and gentlemen, what are we looking at here? Can you see? What can you see? Just tell me. Yes, that's right. You can see the bathroom. You can see a toilet. No, I can't understand. You're not quite sure of the point I'm trying to make here. Maybe I can make it a little bit clearer for you. Close the bloody door if you ever go to the bathroom in my house. Oh, I can't stand it when people just stand there with the door open. It's disgusting. Oh, especially when my girlfriend does it. And I don't find it a turn on. Oh, the door's there for a reason here. Yeah? It's not to keep out drafts. It's because I do not want to see you doing your business. Oh, I feel like shoving my head down the toilet at the moment. That makes no sense at all. Anyway, if you come to my house, keep it bloody shut, okay? Oh. I'm gonna show you something that annoys me more than most things in this world. Where you and me are gonna take a trip to the bathroom. Lights on, what do we have there? The toilet seat is up. I hate it when guys leave the toilet seat up. I find it disgusting, impolite, and just immature. Look guys, it's not difficult. Put it down! Oh, I know women complain about it all the time, but seriously, it just frustrates me so much. I live in a civilized world. I don't live with apes. I don't live with dogs or cats. I live with humans. So do me a favor, guys, and leave the toilet seat down. Not difficult, is it? Oh, don't make me tell you again. <laughs> me, me, I can't read what it says. I've got this 14 year old nephew, yeah? And every time he sends me a text, I can't understand a friggin' thing it says. And that's all thanks to the 186 character limit to text speak. LOL, LMAO, I lol. You sound like an idiot. It winds me up so much what's happened to the English language. Do you know what I'm saying, yeah? Do you know? And there's no need for it anymore because people could email on phones and they don't have to text. And not only that, I see it's migrated to Facebook as well. It's gone everywhere. It's worldwide. Everyone speaks it and I hate it. So, little Barry, I'm going to text you back in English. And if you reply back in text speak one more time, I'm going to eat this fire! What's your problem, babe? What's your problem? Why do you have to walk around in those stupid shoes? It's not funny. I'm not laughing. I'm the one who has to carry you home. Why? <laughs> What do you want me to say? I don't care if they're fashionable. Can't you just wear trainers out to the clubs or something? They won't let me in the trainers. I don't care. It's stupid idiots like that that wind me up when we're out on the town. You can plainly see it hurts their feet, but they still walk around. They waltz around like a baby gazelle. They can't even stand up properly. Heels like as long as this. Stupid female idiots. It's not fashionable and it's not cool and I don't care for it. <sighs> Oh god, look at the bleeding state of this room. Towels hung up everywhere, hats, toys all over the place, the bed's not been made properly. No, this isn't my room, this is one of my flatmates rooms. And while those two are out, I've come to inspect the rooms in the house because I hate messy houses and people that don't clean up after each other. And quite frankly, have a look at it, it's a state isn't it? It's disgusting and vile and people should just, oh, I don't know, just a towel. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to get out of here before I catch fleas, yeah? You know what I mean? I hate, hate living with skanks. You know, I love my computer. I love Facebook. I love the internet. I love shopping online. I use all sorts of different commercial websites. But one thing I really don't like is when I'm on a website looking for something to buy and they don't list any prices at all. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got news for you guys. I'm not visiting your websites again and I'm not gonna buy anything and I'm not gonna message you to ask how much things cost and I'm not gonna sign in. I want the price there, plain and simple. I don't have to sign a contract when I walk can do a shop, do I? If you want me to buy something, I want to see the price. I'm not the richest person in the world. Can't afford everything. Who do you guys think you are anyway? What are you trying to con? You're trying to pull the wool over a granny's eyes or something? I don't know. It's just not on. So, from now on, I think I'll go and buy your product off eBay, where the price is nice and clear. I'm not gonna go to your stupid website ever again. You proper suck and you're the retards of the internet. So stay off it and get off my computer screen. I'm just getting in my car, so bear with me, I want to tell you about something. I work nights, yeah? And you know what, it's stressful enough as it is. 
I like it nice and quiet because it is the bloody night time. I don't care if I work nights and sleep during the day. Oh, where's a stupid seatbelt? But you know what I really hate what my boss does? God, it makes me work. Every time he has a telephone call, he sticks it on loudspeaker. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. It's so dark out. What is your problem, Mr. Hughes? You could just pick up the phone and speak to him. We don't need to hear about the goings on in your bloody supplies life. God! Look, oh, this is just stressing me out. Oh, I'm going home and I'm going to relax where people don't share their conversations with the rest of the bleeding world. Oh, sorry about that. Look, I've got to concentrate on driving. I'll speak to you later.